Mental health quotes can help you feel peace of mind if you're struggling, or they might help you understand someone else's mental health struggles. You often see mental health quotes as you are scrolling through social media, but making the choice to be curious, pause, and analyze a mental health quote may lead to a personal breakthrough, or at the very least, increased empathy for someone else's struggles. In this video, we're going to analyze a mental health quote from someone on the internet named Joshua. The quote is, when your chest aches and your head is swimming with all your faults and flaws, and you can't seem to find your footing, remember that fear is a liar, that you have been here before and you will breathe again. Remember that you are enough, always enough. Mm. If you watch this video to the end, you're going to understand how you can take some practical action steps to apply this mental health quote to your life in the next 24 hours. That's my promise to you. My name is Mike Feeney, and my company, Mike Feeney Inc., owns a website called lovelyrefinement.com, which is a women's mental health site. This quote comes from an article on the site titled, 15 Mental Health Quotes That Make You Feel Less Alone. I invite you to read the full article by clicking the link in the description. Again, the quote from Joshua is, when your chest aches and your head is swimming with all your faults and flaws and you can't seem to find your footing, remember fear is a liar, that you have been here before and you will breathe again. Remember that you are enough, always enough, powerful. So let's dive in. I have anxiety and this quote resonates with me. It really, really does. Years ago, I got to meet John Terrell, a therapist who's become a friend and a mentor, who taught me a lot about anxiety. And he taught me that fear and anxiety help you become aware of danger. Back in the day, uh, if you walked outside and there was a lion, fear and anxiety would, you know, our, our teacher telling you this is danger, and so you've got a choice. And you can, you can run from the lion, you can try to fight it, or you can just... I don't know, be still and pray and hope it works out. And that leads me to what he also taught me is that it's a call to action. It's telling you that you need to do something. And if it had a voice, it would be saying, pay attention, pay attention. But what happens is when it comes to mental health challenges and serious mental illness, we start telling ourselves some stories. And because they seem so real, we treat them as truth. We even call it intuition or our instincts. And, you know, that, that is one of the reasons we all struggle with anxiety and why fear can be a liar. I was feeling some fear before recording this video. I was feeling some fear. I actually feel fear before I record any video or get on stage. I got a whole ritual to try to calm down my anxiety. It doesn't always work. And it was really coming up for me. And, um, I, I was concerned about it. I said, you know, do I need to just put this off until later? But I realized that, you know, through working with John, he taught me to ask me some questions to myself. Like, what am I really afraid of? And the truth is, when I thought about it, what am I really afraid of? I'm afraid of criticism. Um, I'm afraid of getting the thumbs down like or dislike. <laughs> you know, so, so, so please click that like button to help with my anxiety. <laughs> But the other question John taught me to ask myself is, what story in my mind is stuck in time? And I thought about it, if you look at my earlier YouTube videos, like when I first started on YouTube, they weren't as polished as the ones I'm putting out today. And I remember at the time, I had people in my life who actually made fun of me for my videos. They made fun of me and they, they, they mocked me and stuff like that. And I just, you know, I wasn't good and experienced with sitting in front of a camera, but you know, that, that kind of stuff sits with you. So I have this fear going into recording that, you know, it's just not going to be good enough and people are not going to like it, you know? And the final question is what action must be taken? And so I realized for me, the action was I needed to do my little meditation, a little bit of self-talk, stretch, do my little dance and hit record and just hope it turns out well. If I have to stumble over words, 
um and ah all over the place. It doesn't matter. And that's what got me through it. And I'm almost done with it. So I'm happy. So again, the quote from Joshua is when your chest aches and your head is swimming with all your faults and flaws and you can't seem to find your footing. Remember, fear is a liar that you have been here before and you will breathe again. Remember that you are enough, always enough. So what's your next step? What will you commit to doing in the next 24 hours to apply this quote to your life? Please leave a comment below and let me know. And you can start your journey towards better mental wellness by taking my courses on opensesame.com. They are short, useful, and I'm proud to say that they are helping lots of people around the world. Again, opensesame.com. Type in my name, Mike Vini. You can see all my courses. You can buy them individually or get a subscription to Open Sesame and have unlimited access to their 25,000 plus courses. So learn more by clicking a link or the link in the description. All right, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.